Hey, how's it going everybody? This is Corey from Top Fitness and Nutrition and today we're going to be talking about a parasitic cleanse. Now this topic isn't so sexy, but we definitely need to be talking about this because it's important. The reasons why you want to do this is to boost your energy, improve your immune system and digestive system, reduce risk of cancer and start a healthy lifestyle. How to start your cleanse today is you want to eat garlic. You can eat a couple cloves of garlic or you could take a supplement which is going to have antimicrobial components that are going to kill off anything that might be causing the parasite infection to happen. So I know this isn't going to be great for your personal life. It's definitely going to stink, but it's going to be effective. Also, you can eat pumpkin seeds or the most common way is to eat pipette up. Uh, papaya seeds with honey so you can do a um, you know a spoonful of honey and mix papaya seeds in there and that's got really really good research on it to be known to be effective also you can use apple cider vinegar uh, salad dressing you don't want to eat a lot of meat fish high sugar foods or fruit during this week or two while you're cleansing just because meat and fish is known to make uh, you know more 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 parasites enter the body you know they're a common host but uh you know you don't have to cut it out completely it's just if you really want to make sure that you're starting off with a clean slate you would just cut that out what to avoid unclean fruits and vegetables excessive amounts of meat and fish undercooked meats and fish not cleaning your hands not taking care of your pet's health excessive amount of sugar and not cleaning your environment countertops toilets dishes etc the most common types of parasites in North America are tapeworms. You know, we see these commonly in the intestines where it's going to pass through. Um, you know, it's going to enter your body most likely in food like meats, like pork, and then they're going to plant in their hooks into your intestines and feed off the nutrients that you eat. Roundworms are commonly found in the intestines and it's you know if the infestation gets pretty bad it's going to look like spaghetti where it, it might even clog up the uh, intestines and cause massive massive digestive issues also the hookworms you know those are commonly found in the colon region where you're going to find a huge infestation and the female hookworms move down to the anal region where they lay their eggs and that's going to cause itchy butt along with other things and and then if you itch your butt that's going to get passed through your hands or the clothes and that's how hookworm gets passed from person to person and sushi is commonly known to host larvae okay raw food right that's very common pets um, you know pets are always rolling around in grass that's been exposed to bacteria from other pets you know feces or from uh, animals and insects who carry bacteria undercooked meat like pork is the most common one is known to host larvae and and bad bacteria that comes from the animal uh, you know you want to make sure that you're cooking that at a, at a good high temperature unwashed fruits and vegetables commonly known infected water definitely known to host eggs here's a picture of hookworms that have infested the colon region uh, as you can see, they have sucked into the wall lining region and are sucking the blood. So this is going to cause a lot of fatigue and blood loss in the person. This is roundworm. This is that spaghetti look. And it's clogged up the intestines. They had to go under surgery to uh, remove those to stop the constipation. This is mainly found in third world countries, but... You know, there's definitely a lot of cases that this has happened from people who live in America, too. And this is a tapeworm. Um, so the hook of this is into the lining region, and it's sucking out the nutrients that are passing through the intestines. These can get up to, you know, a couple meters long, and they can live up to 20 years or more. So here's a, a feces, and here's an egg found in feces right it's a little little remnants of a uh, worm so this is definitely a sign that you want to look for if you have worms and this is just a sign of one there's probably hundreds if not thousands more of where that came from in summary you want to take care of all these things okay cleanse your food cleanse your environment prepare and cook food safely take care of your hygiene uh, make sure you're watching your pet's health and you want to learn more about parasites Okay, this is very common, you know, even in America. So hope I didn't discuss.